So I'm going to have a look at the posterior glenohumeral humeral joint. So the way we find this is we palpate for the spine of scapula, put our transducer on just inferior to that, and we just angle down inferiorly from there. And I'm going to just angle that medial edge of my probe inferiorly just to get a, a nice little plane through that glenoid and humeral head. And there we are, we've got our glenoid, labrum, our humeral head with its articular cartilage. And I want to assess the full superior to inferior aspect of this glenohumeral joint. So I'm going to fan up as far as I can, and then I'm just going to slide my probe down all the way through to the inferior joint capsule and beyond just to make sure there's no labral cysts off the bottom. So we can see we've assessed there the whole way through. I've got the hand in a really nice neutral position. If we, if we want to reach the hand across the body, we find that that will push those muscles and stretch those muscles across the back of the capsule and, and will push that joint fluid away. So we, we like to see this in a nice neutral position. The way we in, inject is we move and have our joint in the middle. And what we do is we come in from our lateral approach after we've sterilized the skin and just drop down next to. And what we do is we want to drop down and into the joint capsule from this side. We can also use a, if we want to inject into the joint, uh, approach to our bicipital sheath at the front. So once we've assessed the back of the joint, we also want to assess our inferior joint capsule. So what we'll do is we're just going to slide our patient around. I'm going to get the patient's hand on their head in a nice relaxed position. So if they can produce that, get a little extra probe on, uh, extra gel on my probe. And all I do is as simple as eyeballing, getting the line of the humerus and just putting my probe on under the arm and just a little back and forth. And we'll, we'll just find our humeral head and line up. And again, just scanning through assessing the entirety. We want to be able to see that capsule coming over that articular cartilage and down through into the neck there. So that's a nice simple way of looking at through our inferior joint capsule.